LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Welcome. Wherever you're tuning in from, thank you so much for joining us. You're watching the approach and docking coverage of the AX-1 mission currently in progress. I'm Trisha Bhattacharya, a Cruise Systems Group Lead at Axiom Space, and with me is Andy Tran, a quality engineer here at SpaceX. The AX-1 mission is the first all-private crew to the International Space Station. Our four-person Axiom crew will experience 10 days in orbit, eight days on board the International Space Station, and they are currently en route to their destination. 
This webcast is a joint broadcast between NASA, SpaceX, and Axiom Space, and we'll walk you through the events of Dragon approaching and docking with the ISS and carry our coverage through the welcome ceremony that awaits the crew once they are on board the International Space Station. The AX-1 mission started yesterday, April 8th, in the early hour mornings of Florida when the Axiom crew arrived at Kennedy Space Center. Cone. Since that time, the Axiom crew has been able to eat some of the food specially prepared for them by Chef Jose Andreas and his team and get some rest in anticipation for the docking event you'll see later on this broadcast. Yesterday, we had a beautiful launch. It was really picture-perfect conditions, blue skies, fluffy white clouds, and just, you know, we couldn't really ask for anything better. Um, the crew had an exciting launch time, and now they're on their journey to the ISS. So with that, let's head over to NASA's Dan Hewitt, who's joining us from JSC's Mission Control Room for a closer look at Dragon's flight to the International Space Station. Dan? Hey, thanks, Trish, and great to see you and Andy this morning, and welcome, everybody, as we get ready to go through the final phases of the approach and docking for the AX-1 mission. Uh, it's been about 18 hours and change so far since they lifted off. They've executed a series of burns to get them where they are, and we're just now getting into those final parts. And so, as you just heard, uh, the crew on board AX-1 right now is getting into their suits. Uh, everybody is uh, in their suits. And sounds like they're in their suits. So they're going to wear those throughout uh, all the different dynamic phases. Obviously, right here during the docking, they also wore them during launch, and then they'll wear them uh, towards the end of the mission with undocking and then that entry, descent, and landing. But I want to go through some of the burns that we've done so far to get us to where we are right now. And everything started after we got on orbit, uh, and we were able to start start executing a series of five different burns to get us up here, the first of which being the phase burn. So that just started the initial raising of Dragon's orbit and positioning it for its actual approach up to the International Space Station. And then about 12 hours after that, the boost burn took place. Now the boost burn is raising Dragon's uh, orbital apogee, or the highest point of its orbit. And it raised it all the way up until it was just about 10 kilometers below the International Space Station. Not putting it directly below, but just in altitude, about 10 kilometers below. And throughout all these burns, we're using the Draco thrusters on board Dragon. There's 16 of these. There's 12 around the service section and four on what's known as the forward bulkhead. Those are the ones uh, that are essentially pointing straight out through the top hatch and are used for all of these major, we call them delta velocity burns, um, the ones that are really pushing the vehicle and doing or altitude changes. So we did that boost burn, and that put it about 10 kilometers lower than the station, and then just after that, we did what's known as the close co-elliptic burn. So that puts you on, that put us on our first co-elliptic orbit with the space station. That's just where you're maintaining uh, a pretty circular orbit around planet Earth and then maintaining just about 10 kilometers in altitude below the space station. After that was done, we were able to get to the transfer burn. That again, just raised the orbit one more time, bringing us even closer to the station. We're still several kilometers behind, anywhere from uh, 20 to 80 kilometers. Uh, but then you move up and you're just two and a half kilometers beneath the station. And again, you're co-elliptic um, after that. And so we did that final co-elliptic burn that was done a little bit earlier this morning and put us on that steady path about two and a half kilometers below station. Now, right now we're coming up on what's known as approach initiation, coming up in just about three and a half minutes. This is going to be a fairly long burn, again, using those uh, thrusters on the forward bulkhead and then the ones around the service section to fine tune the attitude as we get up. Uh, to begin our final approach. And before we got to this burn, the teams have gone through a number of steps just to ensure uh, everything operating as we expect on board Dragon, on board Station. Uh, we do a number of different setups on board the space station to get ready for Dragon's arrival and docking, uh, doing things like feathering the solar arrays, essentially uh, adjusting which way they're pointing just to minimize any thruster plumes from Dragon as it gets into its final approach as those can degrade some of the solar cells. So we just want to basically put them in an angle where they're protected during that final approach. 
Okay, with that AX-1 officially welcomed on board the International Space Station, uh, we were able to dock AX-1 to the space station at 7.29 a.m. Central. It's 12.29 GMT. While well, they were flying just about 258 statute miles over the Atlantic, getting the hatches open a little less than two hours later, and four crew members, the first ever all-private astronaut mission to the space station, now on board and welcome. So it's going to be an extremely busy week for them ahead, but it was great to take everybody through the operation so far this morning. That's going to do it for me for Mission Control Houston. So I'll sign off and send it back to Andy and Trisha at Hawthorne. Thank you both for being with me this morning and congratulations again on the successful docking of AX-1 to the station. Yeah, thank you, Dan. Uh, uh, congratulations to yourself, too. It's been a super exciting 24 hours. Uh, but that is going to wrap it up for us here uh, in Hawthorne, too, uh, for the live joint coverage of AX-1's arrival to the International Space Station. It has been an honor to support AX-1. Uh, we wish the Axiom crew a successful time on station, and we look forward to joining you when it's time to return home. Yes, it was certainly very exciting to see the camaraderie already building, and we're looking forward to what they'll accomplish in the next eight days. Starting Monday, April 11th, we will be providing daily updates from Axiom Mission Control to highlight the range of science research and STEAM events the crew will be conducting over their eight-day mission. Be sure to visit axiomspace.com and follow the Axiom social media channels for real-time updates. On behalf of SpaceX, Axiom Space, and NASA, thank you all for tuning in.